So here are the replacement cells. Now you can see that they're connected with a band of metal. Now these are not soldered on, these are welded on. So you can't take a soldering iron and remove them that way. You would use something like this pair of flush cutters to get under the band and then cut it. So most of the tab is off now, so I'm going to clean up the surfaces and solder the other tabs on. So I've soldered the tabs onto the new cells and put them back into their cell holder. And it doesn't look great, but they are all very good connections and they're not going to disconnect. And here are some pictures of what it looked like before. And now I've placed the battery pack into the drill itself with all of the sensors and power connections connected. So let's see what happens when I try it out. Excellent. And it also has a little battery sensor here, which indicates that the cells are fully charged. Now I just need to put the drill back together. And then here's the drill, fully reconstructed and fully functional. And the moral of the story is, buy a drill that has a battery that comes off, such as this one here, because the battery is the first thing to go. And you won't have to open it up and replace it like I did. You can just buy a new battery.